Start by focusing all your attention to your nostrils and look at the incoming and outgoing breath as it comes in, as it goes out. We are not judging whether this moment is pleasant or unpleasant. We are learning to be equanimous, not reactive, neutral. All your attention to the top of your head, to the top of your head and see whatever sensation you feel over there. You may not feel any sensation yet. Certainly you will not feel the subtle ones. There are millions of sensations on top of your head that your mind hasn't been sharpened enough to feel. In time this will come if you persevere. For now you may feel perhaps some gross sensations, itching and scrolling, pressure, temperature of some type, anything. Or maybe you feel nothing. It doesn't matter. It is still an experience. Not feeling anything is still an experience. Therefore, you just observe. No reaction. Stay there at the top of your head. As you look at the top of your head, if you feel nothing, you may feel something else somewhere else on your body. Don't allow yourself to be distracted. You are the master of the house. Therefore you decide where you put your attention. You are in control of your attention. Stay at the top of your head. Having made sure that on top of your head there is no sensation that you can perceive. Move further and survey the entire scalp area, bit by bit, part by part. If you feel you have difficulties to feel any sensation at all, then start taking a larger part of your head. So you may feel something if you scan with a larger portion each time. Maybe 3-4 inches diameter at one time. If there's nothing there for a few seconds, perhaps half a minute, then move further. And as soon as you feel a sensation, straight away move further. Don't get stuck up with any sensation, whether pleasant or unpleasant. If any thought overpowers you, maybe a recurring thought, then go back to the awareness of breathing in and breathing out for a few seconds, even half a minute if you can. If it's still overpowering, breathe slightly harder, not too hard, slightly harder. We don't want you to hyperventilate. And then as soon as you are aware of the breathing again, the thought is gone, then slow, slowing down the breathing. And again, when you can slow down the breathing, and you feel relaxed again, go back to the sensation where you left. And continue scanning the entire scalp area. And then move to the forehead and survey the entire forehead area.
survey the eyebrows. Start with one, continue with the other. Move down to the nose. Look at any sensation on the nose. Move further down to the mouth. Survey the lips. Any sensations in your lips. Look at the tongue. Any sensation on the tongue. Of course your mouth is closed. Or the lips gently parted, but you are breathing through the nose. Look at the chin. Any sensation on your chin. Move up to the left cheek. And then move aside to the right cheek. If you have any sensation, don't get attached to it in any way, just move further. Move up to the left ear. And move aside to the right ear. Survey the throat area, any sensation in the throat area. It can be anything, pain, strain, tingling sensation, itching sensation, pulling, throbbing, sweating. Any sensation is a sensation, it is an experience. Just observe. It is not yours. It is not you. It arises to pass away. Just to pass away. Same with your thoughts. They arise and pass away if you don't nourish them. Feed them with more thoughts. Keep moving. When you finish surveying the throat area, survey the entire neck area. Any sensation in your neck? Keep moving now to the left shoulder. In fact, you could start by any shoulder as long as you keep the same order all the time. For the teaching purpose, let's start with the left shoulder. Part by part. Not reacting to any type of sensation, whether subtle, cross, pleasant or unpleasant. If you feel any discomfort, it is absolutely normal. Just observe, smilingly, peacefully, 
and go down to the left arm. Survey the entire left arm and left elbow. Patiently and calmly and survey the entire left wrist and left hand. Then go up to the right shoulder, the right shoulder, and survey the entire shoulder. Move as soon as you feel a sensation. If no sensation for a few seconds, half a minute, then move further. Maybe next round, when we go back to the shoulder, you might feel something. Never feel defeated or annoyed by what you experience. The whole exercise is to develop equanimity, balance of the mind, the opposite of reactivity. Move down to the right arm. And the right elbow. Move to the right forearm. and down to the right wrist and the right hand. and move up to the upper chest area, the upper chest. Piece by piece. Keep the same order. Keep the order. Try vertical order. Then move down piece by piece. Survey the entire thorax and abdomen area. If you feel your heartbeat and you interpret it such as that, then you are not looking simply at sensations, you are interpreting the sensations. Try to remain with the task of pure observation, no evaluation, no interpretation, just observation. It is very, very specific task, just observation. A heartbeat, after all, is just a sensation from this point of view.
Pleasant, unpleasant makes no difference. Just observe. If you are not evaluating it, then it is bound to subside progressively, although it may increase at first, simply because you are aware of it. In fact, it doesn't really increase. Your awareness increases and it will subside and then pass away, however long it takes. If you don't react to any sensation, it will subside and pass away because it is their nature. As soon as it is reinforced, reacted to, then the next similar sensation that arises you react to even strongly, more strongly. So start learning not to react to sensations, even benign sensations, even pleasurable sensations, no reaction. And your mind will get very skilled at this. And the skill will be transferred in your daily life. But first you need to train very seriously. Then move up to the upper back area the upper back area and look at any sensation you may find in your upper back area very calmly equanimously and move down to the lower back area. Try not get caught in your thoughts. As soon as you think something, quickly go back to the awareness of any sensation you were looking at and move further. Maybe you haven't felt a sensation for some time. So the mind is bored. Now keep moving down to the buttocks and survey the entire buttocks area. Start with the left. And once this is surveyed, then move to the right buttock. Move down to the left thigh, the left thigh, and survey the entire thigh, down to the left knee, down to the left knee. Then move down to the left leg, the left leg. Even though there may be gross sensations, like 
pain perhaps or pressure, tension. Be very still, accepting every experience. Within the worst and most painful sensation, if you come across any today or another day, you will find that if you are very, very still, there is an underlying current inside that sensation, an underlying sensation, a flow of very tiny little sensations running through. Go down now to the left ankle until you survey the entire left foot until the tip of the left toes, the left foot to the tip of the toes. Now go up to the right thigh, the right thigh. And survey the entire right thigh. Part by part. Keep moving, down to the right knee, the right leg. right ankle and the right foot. You have now surveyed the entire body from the top of your head to the tip of your toes. Now, start from the tip of your toes and go up back to the top of your head. Start from the left foot and move up to the left thigh. And then the right foot, move up to the right thigh. and survey the buttocks. And the lower back. The upper back. And then the lower abdomen. The entire abdomen and thoracic area.
from the upper chest go up to the throat and from the left hand go up to the left shoulder from the right hand then go up to the right shoulder Survey then the entire neck area. And then the face, part by part. And the entire scalp area. And again, from the top of the head, go down to the tip of your toes. Scan your body entirely. As long as you can give it time. As you will practice correctly, your mind will become increasingly detached. At the deepest level. At the level of body sensations. Remember... The most important thing is that all sensations and all thoughts are impermanent by nature. The impression that they remain is because we react to them, we reinforce them. Each time you come across a sensation, especially those that are either very pleasant or very unpleasant, just remember their nature their impermanent nature. Reacting to it is only increasing reinforcement and conditioning in daily life. What you do during this training will be reflected in your daily life. It is a very effective technique. Watch that as you practice, of course you will react but watch that you react less and less. And the results are surprising. Now you can stop the tape and practice without the tape if you have some time. The more you practice, the more benefits, immediate benefits.